In this section, we're going to go through and set up the Linksys WRT160N using the setup wizard. Uh, this uh, router is connected to a cable modem, so this is going to be a cable modem connect connection setup. So insert the CD that came with your router into your CD-ROM, and it should run automatically. If you have auto-run turned off, uh, then you need to navigate to the uh, CD-ROM and run setup. Okay. Start setup. Choose your language for the setup. In this case, we're going to use English and click next. Read the license agreement. Accept it. Click next. Now at this point, the software is checking to see how the network is set up. Is this an existing network or a brand new one? Okay, step one of four. Uh, in this step, they're asking you to connect the modem to your router, and you need to connect it to the port named Internet on the back of the router, and that's a yellow port. You use an Ethernet cable to, do, to make this connection. Uh, when you've done that, click Next. Next, we're going to connect the, the computer to the router switch port. There is a built-in switch into the router and has four ports. And it doesn't really matter which four ports you, which of the four ports you use. Just select one. And this blue cable uh, came with your router. So just use this Ethernet cable and connect your router to the computer. And when you've done that, click Next. In step three or four, uh, basically we're going to connect a power supply to the router. And it's shown here. I would recommend uh, connecting, making sure you have power going to the modem and that the cable modem is connected to your uh, cable provider. And when, when you've checked all that, click Next. Now at this point, they're telling us to uh, connect the power supply of the router to the out wall outlet. And I would recommend, again, doing that for the modem as well, making sure it's plugged in. And when the router boots up, the software is going to try to find it and see how it's set up. So it found it at this time. It's checking the network. And it's telling us to set the password. Now at this point, you might have gotten an error 323. If you got an error on your screen, that basically means uh, either the modem is already set up with a different password or your cabling is incorrect or it might just not be hard you know plugged in firmly enough so check your cabling if you got that error if it's an existing router you're trying to set up you know you need to reset the password or even reset the router so here uh, it's asking us for the password we're gonna put something else more secure the hackers and crackers know that uh, the password for uh, you know the Linksys router is admin so what we're gonna do we're gonna change it to time to be safe and when we've done that we're going to click next now the SSID is basically your network name here it's Linksys and the reason you don't want that you don't, you don't want to tell people what kind of a router you have and uh, just for hackers, you know, it's not the less information they have, the better. So let's ch change this. Since it's a network name, we're going to just call it Network1, Net1 for short. And basically what happens, uh, this is not a security setting. So this Net1 gets advertised up in the air uh, 10 times a second. So other wireless devices can find a router. So your laptop sees this, Net1. And it says, do you want to connect to it? And you can, and you just enter the security code to enter it. So here we're going to click Next. Now, we're going to set up the encryption here for the wireless router. The default is the highest security WPA and WPA2. We're not going to get into the details of this in this section. When we go in detailed setup of the wireless connection, we'll see that. 
But here, try to select WPA, WPA2. And the reason you might not be able to select this is if you have old hardware and you need to, you re requires WEP. And they, that's, that's all they support. And you would do that. But WEP's been cracked and uh, it's not very secure. So WPA, WPA2 is uh, your best bet. No security, that's not recommended. And there are a few reasons for that. One is that uh, people will use your network connection to send spam, and if they do that, you, you know your your ISP might shut you down for sending spam out. Uh, second is they might use it for illegal activities, for downloading videos or whatever that could cause you problems for downloading illegal material. And since it's coming com coming to your IP address, uh, they're going to come after you. Uh, you would use the no security, for example, in a you know, public setup, for example, a coffee shop where you have a lot of guests coming in and you don't want to worry about uh, giving them a passphrase to use. Here, uh, the software is generated for us a security key. Now, you can use, you know, one of your own phrases. I would recommend a passphrase, something like it's time to be secure or it's time to have fun. It, so you could remember it or you could keep this and that's what we're going to do here but you know if you have friends or guests coming over and they need to you need to give them this phrase uh, to set up their wireless network it's going to be difficult to remember this uh, we're going to click next here now this is an informational page this is basically telling us that this uh, router it comes with a Wi-Fi protected setup with by pushing this button and there is a security code on the back of the router it's a series of numbers you would enter that into your wireless device and it would configure the security for the wireless connection for you so you don't have to go through all the hassle this is just informational we're going to click next now this page is the confirm setting page basically it's telling us your password is going to be time to be safe your network name or SSID is NAT1. You're using WPA and WPA2 for your wireless encryption. And the key used for uh, pre shared key, I should say, used uh, for securing the wireless is shown also. And this option here saves the copy of a configuration, basically, this information in a file called Linksys on your desktop. You can also print this and have this information in hard copy and it's recommended to do that uh, just because you'll forget in about a couple hours what you set up and it's just uh, much easier to have it in hard copy. And with this option you also have it in soft copy on your desktop so you can easily cut and paste. So now we're going to do hit next here. This pop-up tells us hey I saved a copy uh, of the configurations on your desktop and the file is called linksys.txt. I'm going to say OK. Now the software is going to try to set up the router using the configuration settings we just selected. So it's going to try to do that. Okay, the router was successfully configured. Now it's going to verify the configurations, making sure everything's okay, and it and it's, it's done that. So the router is configured and it says congratulations, your router has been configured. You can click next here, and uh, basically you can set up other software and do other kinds of stuff here, but we're not going to go over that. 